What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Bisman Cam here, and I am back with yet another video. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the most simple water tank setup for any detailer, pro detailer, or if you're just starting. From A to B, I'll show you guys the parts that you need, how exactly this one was put together, how much it'll roughly cost for your setup, and how it works. So if this video helps you out in any way, please be sure to like, comment any video ideas you guys have down below for future videos, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get right into the video, but first, quick word from our sponsor. If you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, and collecting payments, give Quote IQ a chance. Just click the link in the comment section and description of this video. Quote IQ can also help you manage your schedule, send automated texts, and follow-up emails, as well as provide you with real-time business analytics, such as close ratio, sales, and expense tracking, so that you can stay organized and profitable. If that sounds like something that will help your business, go ahead and click the link in the description below and give Code IQ a try. Thank you, Code IQ, for sponsoring this video. So we'll start by basically showing you guys an overview of the setup and how it works. Starting here, we have our 55-gallon water tank. I'm thinking about replacing this one soon and getting one a little bit bigger. Right now, this runs us about three to four cars if we're kind of playing it safe. Uh, and then going down, we have one little slot opening, which has a, I believe it's either a three eighths or one fourth uh, male adapter. Connected to that, we have our this green Flexzilla hose that's uh, cut off on one side, that way you can make the connection. And then we have a little silver clamp to make sure that there's no release, obviously, and that it's held pretty tightly. From here, the Flexzilla hose leads right over to the pressure washer. I believe the pressure washer base for most are a one fourth fitting. So we have the Flexzilla screwed in right into this side. And then on the other side, we have a quick disconnect with another little small black hose in a brass uh, fitting uh, with another one fourth quick disconnect that you can literally just unscrew off of here. And it makes it nice and simple if you ever have to do maintenance or anything like that. And then it simply plugs right back in so that it goes on this side. And then we have one more small little cut hose, which goes from this side of the pressure washer, this little black hose, which comes right here out of the outlet pressure washer and then goes right over here, right into our reel, which obviously then we use that to spray. So it's nice and simple. And those are basically all the pieces. This setup is run gravity fed. And if you guys have known and been watching my channel for a minute, you guys know that I've had multiple gravity fed setups, but I also have had some pump setups. There's a bunch of different factors. Personally, I have no problem with gravity fed and it's never caused me any issues. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, we, we start way back. We started originally out of a Toyota Prius and I believe I had like a little 30 gallon water tank that was gravity fed right into my pressure washer. If you guys don't know, most pressure washers come standard with a pre-built pump into them. So a lot of times if you're able to get it gravity fed as we do here, it works out pretty well and I never have had any issues as far as not being able to get water or the pressure washer running dry. And then the next setup I believe was like a 2004 or 2001 F-150. That one was also gravity fed. Um, I'll link that video in the description because I have also a setup video when I first did that. And then the most recent one, as you guys know, my infamous Scion XB setup. The first couple months we did gravity fed and then about halfway through when we did the custom setup in that video that you guys may have seen, uh, we ended up switching to a pump. So basically, I'm just gonna quickly, I've obviously showed you guys how the flow of everything works. I'm gonna briefly just talk about exactly the specific pieces you need. All you would need for something this simple is a couple of one fourth male adapters, either one fourth or uh, three eighths, depending on how your, your setup wants to, be, how you want your setup to be built. You're gonna need a couple of hoses, such as this Flexzilla hose, a couple um, one fourth quick connect adapters, quick disconnect connect adapters, uh, a, probably about three to four of the clamps, plumber's tape, just to make sure that all of your connections are nice and uh, closed off and you're not getting any leakage and you're getting the full power in. And then that's basically it. So specifically how gravity fed works and how it works with my setup. If you guys can kind of see on the bottom, we have two, I think two by four wooden planks that are on both sides that keep the, pre uh, the, the water tank a little bit higher level than the pressure washer. That helps with the flow and also so that we can use all of the water that's in the tank. An old setup that I used to have made it to where the water would still be about this high, but because how it would set up, 
we couldn't get enough pressure to use the rest of that water. Now with this setup and even having no pump, because it's sitting higher on the two by fours, it's giving enough flow to where the water is naturally by gravity, gravity fed, being pushed down and so that the water will flow perfectly into everything and we're able to get in most of the water that's in the tank. Price-wise, getting a simple setup kind of like this, 55 gallon water tank, usually these type of uh, water tanks run anywhere between 250 to 400. I wanna say this one was about 300. Uh, you're obviously, depending on how your setup is, you may or may not need some ratchet straps. Uh, two of these, maybe 25, 30 a piece. Uh, a couple of the fittings and equipment, each of the pieces is maybe three to 10 bucks max and you're gonna need maybe three or four of each little fitting. So I would say about $50, 40 to 50, maybe even less on the fittings and connections. And obviously you're gonna need your pressure washer. We have a, we're running a 1900 PSI Ryobi pressure washer, electric pressure washer right now. That I believe at Home Depot runs, I think like 150 to 200 bucks. The, uh, we have a general pump, uh, general reel, I've always stuck with general for most of my setups. Really simple. It is a uh, like wind up yourself manual one. Don't mind it at all. I believe these are about a hundred bucks on Amazon. The Flexzilla hose, I believe is about 50 to a hundred bucks as well, if I'm remembering correctly. And then we have obviously our gun, which you can buy these on Amazon and they also run anywhere from 30 to 50 really really good ones the mtm ones i believe are like 100 or 150 or something like that you don't need that starting out right away um, if you're a pro detailer and kind of already have a good setup getting a better reel than the flexzilla one or getting an mtm gun those those adjustments may be able to be made but if you're brand new and you're just looking for a simple quick water tank setup i suggest just getting the bare minimum which is pretty much everything that we have right here so if we kind of do the calculations, all of the stuff added up from top to bottom, including the planks, the four by fours, um, all the small material and stuff. I believe that you can get started with a setup like this for less than $500. Excuse me, it honestly might even be less. Some, a lot of the times you can find tanks like this on Facebook Marketplace for like a hundred bucks, 150 bucks, you can get a steal. A lot of times on Facebook Marketplace, they have used pressure washers that I've seen for 50, 100 bucks. So unless you're buying all brand new stuff, you honestly could even get out a brand new, or not a brand new, brand new to you, set up for $350 or less. So it is very budget friendly, very simple. Like I said, no pump required. So it makes it nice and simple because of how gravity nicely feeds it. Um, I'm gonna turn it on for you guys, just so you guys can get an idea of how the pressure is with a little bit less than half of the water left. We have the pressure washer plug. Simply just plug it in. I usually go in, press the pr pressure washer button to turn it on. You'll hear, uh, you'll hear everything activate. The water builds up so that you can have your pressure. Pull my reel out. And there's great pressure. This is gravity fed guys, no pump needed. Granted, there is a pump inside, you know, the pressure washer. But, I mean... So that is pretty much it, you guys. You do not need a water pump to run a good, useful setup. You can make it nice and simple and gravity fed like this with very minimal um, items and get started in your detail business right away. Um, it definitely helps if you're just becoming a mobile guy and you're looking for a setup, hopefully this something nice and simple. Remember with gravity fed, you wanna try to sit your tank a little bit higher than this. So if you have a, a flat water tank even that fits you know, in the trunk of your car, try to put it on a two by fours or something that kind of props it up a little bit with your pressure washer sitting next to it. And you could basically build this exact same setup and you should have little to, little to none issues uh, with your setup. And then also remember if you are in kind of like an open cab like this, please try to get some ratchet straps to make sure it's not flying around because when you have this completely full, you have 55 gallons, you have 100 gallons in here, and if it's not ratchet strapped down and you got it swaying or it's moving or if it's a tall one like this, it may fall over. You don't want any of those issues in it with it being unsafe. So we have it ratchet strapped down and then with the straps, uh, you guys can kind of see here that 
it's uh, it's screwed in there. So this is nice and tight. It's not coming off no matter what. It's really tight. Doesn't rare gives little budge, but it kind of needs that. So it, it, it works great, it's safe, and I've never had an issue with the pressure washer. And then the quick disconnects make it nice and easy if you ever need to take them off and do maintenance on your pressure washer to work on any of the items here. Um, that's why I also suggest getting some quick connects um, between the setup, any little spots that you can. Just that way it makes it easier to take apart, do maintenance. Any issues that occur, you can take them off and fix. So yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, that is the setup that I'm going to be running for 2024 this year. Hopefully you guys learned something from this video. If you guys are here to look for a new setup or you're a veteran detailer that's just looking to change something, hopefully this may give you a simple idea of how a simple but effective setup can look. Uh, but yeah, that's about it, you guys. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, as you guys have probably seen. I've been posting a bunch of new YouTube shorts, kind of getting into that category. And we're getting a bunch of new subscribers, bunch of followers and supporters. So it's been amazing. Road to 10K, man. I want to hit 10K by my birthday, which is March 22nd. I think we might hit it by the end of this month. So I just want to thank you guys so much. I think I'm also going to be doing a 10K subscriber giveaway and a 2K uh, Instagram follower giveaway separately, which I'll be announcing probably in the next video here or so. So definitely stay tuned. If you guys are new, please be sure to subscribe, comment any video ideas you guys have down below, and like the video for your boy. We need, uh, we need some likes on this video to show that y'all want me to keep posting and coming back. So anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It's your boy, Bizman Cam, and I'm gone. Peace!